Do you feel that you're taking responsibility in your life? A lot of people tell us that we should do that. And I think it's one of those concepts that we really need to re-examine because there's this typical kind of, yeah, I should be doing that. I should take responsibility for my life. But there's kind of this secret aversion to it too. Kind of a, a hesitation about taking responsibility for our lives. And I think it's probably a lot of it is to do with well, what do we mean when we say take responsibility for our lives? Now I'm going to, you know, talk about what I think it means to take responsibility for ourselves in life. And the first thing we need to know about it is just, it's kind of like a, a subject or a concept that has two levels to it. There's to take responsibility for your life, psychological responsibility. Because there's this other thing of like worldly responsibility, you know, what the world talks about as being res taking responsibility. There's, are you legally responsible for this? You know, are you professionally responsible for this? These are all kind of worldly forms of responsibility. And I think it's much more important to talk about psychological responsibility because that's much more of a, an intimate personal choice that we make to take responsibility for our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions. So, really what I'm focused on more here is, is, is just to kind of forget this whole thing about worldly responsibility and focus more on psychological responsibility. See, the problem with it is, in, if we're talking about the way the world typically thinks about responsibility, here's an example. You know, there's an office meeting taking place and somebody barges through the door and says, who's responsible for this? Now, immediately everybody's head drops, nobody's making eye contact anymore, there's this dirty word called responsibility that's come in here and nobody wants to take it. And that is because typically, and this is why we, 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 we're hesitant around responsibility. Responsibility secretly means blame. Okay, who's to blame? Which is why it can be a very heavy word to use in therapy or for ourselves personally when we're, when we're growing and healing It's well, you're saying I should take responsibility for my life? Are you saying everything is my fault? Am I to blame here? And if that's the, the, the way we're thinking about responsibility, who would want to take it? Okay, so like I agree with that. I think this is my, my definition of responsibility. Responsibility without blame. Okay, so you certainly, responsibility is, yeah, I'm not blaming other people for this but I'm not going to take responsibility and then therefore start to blame myself, right? Responsibility and blame have become unfortunately synonymous with each other. And what if taking responsibility for our life means I completely take ownership of this experience, but I'm not gonna blame myself for that experience or for what's happened here, what's actually transpiring in my life. No blame whatsoever. Just a more of an openness and a curiosity to what's happening is much more appropriate when we're taking responsibility. One of the ways to think about why we're so hesitant about this responsibility is, I'll ask people this question, in any given situation in life, which of these two would you rather be? Would you rather be the victim or would you rather be the victimizer? Would you rather be the person who gets hurt or the person doing the hurting. And most of us really do not like the idea of being the victimizer or the person who's doing the hurting. So to avoid that, we sometimes find ourselves attracted to being the victim in any given situation. But it's really just to avoid being the bad guy quite often, right? It's just, it's not necessarily that we want to be in victim consciousness, which is cannot handle the idea that we're going to be perceived as the bad guy or the wrong person, the wrong one in this situation. So if we're going to actually move into responsibility in life, one of the things we can think about is how is this whole victim victimizer concept or paradigm actually helping me in my life? Is it useful at all? Seeing good and bad, right and wrong, victim victimizer in, in everything in life. What if it's, if it's not as simple as that? Or what if that's just not a helpful way to think about this? A better concept I like to think about is again, responsibility without blame or self-empowerment. 
I actually, I think we should be still using the word responsibility because I think it's just a word that has, has lost its true meaning. But if you don't like that word responsibility or you have that sort of aversion to it, start to say, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to be self-empowered now. I'm going to take responsibility. That means self-empowerment. Once I take ownership of something in my life, I stop, to, I stop seeing myself as either a victimizer or a victim. No blame involved here. Ownership, self-empowerment. Now I can do something about this. This is kind of the, the thing we're, we're looking at here. This is what we're shooting for. I'll tell you just a little quick story about this, what it means to kind of take responsibility, to leave behind that victim victimizer thing and step into self-empowerment. And it's just a little example, but I remember personally a little while ago, I was, you never have that feeling in the morning when you wake up and you're like, oh my God, the world is just out to get me today. The world is imposing itself on top of me. I don't want to deal with it. I want it to go away. I just want to stay in bed. One of those types of days. And, you know, I kind of immediately recognized, okay, well, am I taking psychological responsibility here or am I kind of feeling a bit like a victim in this situation? And of course, I did feel like a victim in that situation. So I could have went into what's wrong with me? Why am I doing this? Why am I a victim? It's my fault that I, I'm the victim which is completely wrong. <laughs> so we, w what I did was, okay, I'm going to take responsibility without blaming myself. Am I a victim of this situation? No. Is it my fault? No. And I started to step into self-empowerment. And in self-empowerment, what we can do is we can find, okay, well, where is my role in what I'm experiencing right now? And I, and I came to realize, you know, well, I feel exhausted, really. I don't want to handle this day. Self-empowerment responsibility was, well, why am I so tired? What have I done to contribute to this tiredness? Not, not blaming myself. But I realized, well, you know what? I haven't been to bed early for a long time. Maybe that's something I could look at. Maybe I'm contributing, at the very least, this experience of being the victim of this day, which is imposing itself on me. But as soon as I did that, I, I began to feel less victimized by, by the day because I realized I'm actually contributing to this experience. Did I feel bad about it? No, I felt good about it because now I could actually do something about this situation. So taking responsibility is very liberating for us and it makes us feel less helpless and certainly less victimized by other people, by the world, you name it. But the takeaway from this video today, I want you to really take this away. You know, we don't go to someone who is in deep pain, okay, and feeling uh, victimized. We don't go and say, you know, you should really take responsibility. Because that's very cruel, and we shouldn't do that. We should, we should see responsibility as probably the first issue most people have with responsibility, or refusing to take it, is that they're probably blaming themselves already, secretly. So responsibility... See without blame every single time you use that term. I'm going to take responsibility without blaming myself. If we can do that, we start to see solutions where we could only see problems. We start to, we, we stop seeing the external world as this thing imposing itself on us, victimizing us, bullying us, pushing us around. And we start to feel less helplessness. So responsibility without blame is the concept I want you to take from today's video. As always, guys, thanks a million for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye for now.